Hi, friends. How are you? Well, it is July 3rd. Happy 4th of July tomorrow, Independence Day. I'm here in my backyard, and you can hear cicadas in the background if you listen really carefully. Uh, it's been a pretty good week, as I told you last time. Basil has been pretty sick. She has like some kind of pneumonia condition caused from when she was having a seizure drinking water. And that she's been sick since the 10th of July. I mean, June. I have to put her outside. I don't want to keep her in much longer because she's not supposed to be like a house chicken. Plus, you know, I have cats or cats. And come August 5th, my first foreign exchange student's coming. So I want to be able to do rug doctor. I'm going to show you my backyard garden. Lot yesterday I wanted to do my backyard garden for you, but something happened. I hope you can hear me. I don't know. My computer's been a little bit wonky lately. I just got it back a week ago. As you know, all my computers got viruses on them, all five. I still have three at home that I need to take to the shop. But it's really hard when I am teaching online still, in person, doing a tutoring in person, tutoring online. I, I'm still doing in-home health care. So I got a lot of different things I'm doing, but I need the computer for all of it. So I'm going to show you my garden and I'll show you updates on the chickens. Last time we met, I told you that I have some chickens inside. We have little Peppernickel who is recovering from being heat exhausted in the house that didn't have AC for three days. Uh, she has sauerkraut, he, she, we don't know if it's boy or girl because it's so tiny. There's really no genitalia according to the vet because she's so small and she's underweight. She's very tiny for two months. Her little brood mate loves her. They're like besties and that's vanilla. We know for sure that she's a girl and she's two months. Pepper, Pepper's here. Pepper has been pretty good overall, but Pepper's a boy. We're sure about that. And he is crowing at 6.50 in the morning. Um, I've been asking around, see if anybody wants a little rooster. Most people are already, you know, have a full house on their farms. The one farm that is probably going to take him is my friend's. However, she does have a high turnover of chickens. They seem like every week they get murdered by a cat or a wild fox. She lives maybe 15 minutes from me, 10 minutes from me. Uh, she's probably the only person that will take him, which is heartbreaking because I'm just setting myself up for a phone call that he didn't make it and he got eaten by a hawk or something. He, she has vultures on her property. She has snakes. Here, he's very safe. Uh, he's got his four best girlfriends he sleeps with. Last night, Dandelion was crying for him to go upstairs and he was getting kind of angry. His little temper is really cute. And then uh, hour and a half later, I looked and he was upstairs with her and he left a little saffron downstairs by herself. I don't like them down there by themselves through the night. That's how Ginger died. She was downstairs by herself in the morning. She had a peck on her head. She died the following day. But I don't like when they're down there. They have to be with at least one little friend, you know, because that's where bullying comes in. That's also where predators come in too. There are wasps out here and it kind of scares me. But I want to show you my garden before I forget. And I'll show you some updates on the chickens. Cinnamon and nutmeg are doing really well. They're getting louder. They're my red Rhode Island. They're supposed to be laying around 300 eggs a day. So I'm looking forward to that. You know, my family and my friends and my neighbors, they all love to try the eggs, but they haven't started laying yet. I guess they're late bloomers. Maybe because the heat, maybe it stresses them out. They eat a lot. They're eating their chick feed. So you don't have to get their layer feed. Then they also have their snacks. They're eating grubs. They're grazing right now. The garden. And they also like seeds. I do notice that none of them like corn. Usually they pick at it and leave the corn. So I don't blame them. Corn's usually a little bit, I want to say genetically modified anyway. So maybe they know it's good for them and not. Let me go ahead and show you my corn I'm growing. Speaking of corn, uh, it is growing, but not really too much. Sorry about the brightness here. I'm outside. It's over 100 degrees. This is my corn. You can see it. Uh, I got it when it was really little. It kind of broke off a little bit, but it's doing pretty good. It's coming back together. This one right here, this is a tomato plant, but it's kind of dying. I don't know why. Maybe it was on a rock. This one is a tomato plant. It has some little buds on it. When my mom went down, uh, we ate about 
six of them. I have a little squirrel that comes by and he actually bit one. That's my neighbor's dog behind the fence. When Max will live with me, he used to always talk to him. This is my centinella plant. It's supposed to help with uh, mosquitoes. If I'm right here, I don't get bit by mosquitoes. I kind of want to put them all over the yard. They're a little bit pricey. I think this one was 20, but it's grown twice as much as when I got it. This guy at Tractor Supply told me today, though, that he has three of them. And he says now that the mosquitoes are getting um, resistant to it and they still come around. But I don't know. It's hard with these GMO insects and animals and stuff. This is my whole line of sage, different peppermint. I have raspberry peppermint, lemon peppermint, spearmint, and also a regular mint. This, I believe, is a zucchini. I should have probably put it in the ground, but I wasn't thinking. And during the rain, we got confused on which plants were which ones and which ones we needed to repot. Uh, and the rain kind of came fast and it didn't stay too long. But some of the things we had to replant, like this is my squash. I replanted that. You can see it's growing nicely. We took about eight of them off of it and gave it to my sister. We ate, I know I ate two of them. We put them on the grill. Um, unfortunately, by the time I get out here, they're already dried up and they're dead. But a couple weeks, I want to say like maybe three weeks ago, it was pretty good weather and we picked eight of them off. And they're, they taste really good. I love it fresh. This tomato plant, it's on rock, so it's doing okay. This was sunflowers. Anise, one of the chickens sat on it and it kind of made it dead. And then the gardener came around it over. So it's completely uh, not evident that it was even there. You got all kinds of peppermint. That peppermint dying the top layer, but the bottom layer is coming out. I got different herbs. I do have sage and basil. I have rosemary by the chicken coop. I have dandelions. I I do have a bunch of bugs out here, but I do have ladybugs, which are great. I spent eighty dollars on other bugs. I was trying to buy bugs that eat aphids, you know, like ladybugs and stuff. But as the ladybugs left, I am getting butterflies though. It's really nice. I didn't release those. I guess maybe they're just nature or a neighbor did. This is lettuce. I bought some lettuce. They ate some of it. Some of it we planted here. I have uh, two things of uh, chili peppers here or bell peppers. And I have three in the front yard as well as some mint and basil in the front. Another tomato plant. We had some herbs here, but they died. This is a plant we're not sure what it is. It has yellow flowers on it. That's another tomato plant. This is my radish. Unfortunately, when we did pick the radish, we left them outside and they dried up and died. Another tomato plant. Can you see the babies in the background? And there they go running. They're so cute. The silkies are going to be pretty small. They're going to look like babies forever, which is great. I love little ones. I guess I had um, baby fever again. I get this way a lot. I guess I really want a baby. So just got some chicks and they're going to stay little. There's Pepper right there. He's always on high alert, which I love that. And um, like I said, he's going to be probably going to a farm soon, my friend's farm. And unfortunately, you know, we don't really know what's going to happen to him there. But he does have a high turnover. And uh, every month somebody dies on the farm. But at least he has a new While he had it, right? There they are. Can you guys see him? Oh. Can you guys see him? <laughs> I don't know how squeaky voice is. So they're all silkies, except for this big white one. It's a coche. So they're my little ones. Like I said, I got the two red Rhode Islands. They do their own thing. <laughs> so let me get back to my garden. Um, Right here we have some of the beans. I have uh, daddy, 
peas. This was rosemary. I have another rosemary over there. No, it's lavender. Yeah, lavender. And I have rosemary over there. This was cilantro. Oh, this was uh, mint and some other things, but they died. This is cat grass. More peas. Uh, more daddy peas and peas. This was lavender from the seed and it didn't ever sprout. We're not sure what this is. It might be cantaloupe or it might be squash or it might be watermelon because that's what this whole row is. And it did have some peas jumped in here. Some basil popped in. Little basil's right there. You can barely see it. Um, we did have some cilantro, but it didn't seem like it, it popped up. And over here, we have some carrots that snuck to the back. It might end up in my neighbor's. And two more tomato plants. We don't want to forget the Red Road Islands. Can you hear them? Yep. That's my Red Road Islands. There's one of them. Hi, baby girl. Hi, baby girl. The other one's in her little chicken coop. Yeah. Yeah, you're so good. Good luck, Susan. Yeah. Yeah. So that's cinnamon, and her sister, her twin, is nutmeg. So I don't know what she's telling you guys, but maybe you understand. I totally thought that getting chickens was going to be quieter than ducks. But that is my garden. Um, this is chicken coops. I have two little fans going. And there you have it. Signing off. Bye till next time. Bye till next time. <laughs>